everybody and welcome to Bunky's Workshop. I'm Bunky and I'm bringing you this Panda Spin Dryer. I've seen this on YouTube a couple of times and I thought, you know what, that is very interesting and I think I need to try one out for myself. And uh, so here we go, it just came uh, delivered today. So I figured I'll do the unboxing now and take a look at it. I have a load of laundry in the washer right now. When that is complete, I'll put it to the test. But right now, let's do the unboxing and hope nobody minds, but uh, the dogs are out running around through the house. So you might see one pop up here and there. So just say hi to them. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. It's a box within a box. So what did I do with the scissors? I just had them here. Well, okay. We'll just do this the old way, right? Boing! <laughs> well, all right. It wants to fight me. Box number one. Okay. So, nice squishy soft packaging. Okay, so I guess I have to lift it out. So let's move this to the side. <laughs> okay. There we go. Get my glasses, my grandpa glasses. And as you can see, it is the Panda in slate gray. It's beautiful. Panda spin dryer. And what do we have here on top? Oh, shows how to load and unload it, how not to load and unload it, and to remove the locking mechanism from the bottom, which I think it just came out in the box. But I'll check. Yep. So, okay. On off button is here. Power. Some more packaging. Okay, it's the top. And Panda instruction manual spin dryer model number PANSP21W. For technical support, call 1-866-371-2888. Eight. Let's take a look. Everybody say hello to Gidget. This is Gidget here in front of me. She's our new puppy. She's about six months old now. Okay, what's it say? What's it say? Safety lock on top. See that? Lid. I see the lid handle. So the handle is number three. Where's three? Oh, 
Okay, I see. It has handles built in here on the sides. Inner drum, while well, we see that, it's stainless steel. Quite roomy in there. Operation lever. Oh, here. So that's how you turn it on and off, which also sets the brake. Drain spout here at the bottom. Protector disc is this. And then, of course, it has these uh, really sturdy rubber feet on the bottom. And we got a plug here. Well, we call it a cord or wire or plug. Some people call it a cable. Let's take a look at this. So that's pretty decent. It's good quality, nice thick cable. Now it's not the longest, but you know, how far do you need to go, right? And if it's not long enough, find one that is. Extension cord will work, right? So let's just plug her in for the fun of it. And let's kind of like just give her a whirl with nothing in it but its little hoop-majiggy here. Close. Supposed to do 3200 RPMs. Very quiet. Said once you turn it on, it will run for five minutes and shut off automatically and do a slow uh, turn off. So it'll slowly come to a stop. Or you can turn this off and that will hit the brakes and it'll stop it quickly. which it did. It came to a stop, hit the button, unlocks it. Pretty quiet. Huh. I really like this with this uh, bluish purple clear lid so you can see what's going on in there. Nice solid stainless steel drum, lots of room. I'm really liking this slate gray um, finish. The one that was actually online I think was in white. I really like this better. So well there you go. That's the unboxing of the Panda Spin Dryer. And what else can I tell you about it? I think I pretty much wrapped it up. Um, I found this online um, on sale on a seller that I normally use on eBay they were going for the highest I saw it was $199 um, so I put it on my watch list and it went down to $189.99 and I kept it on my watch list and then when I went back on a couple of days later it was $155 so I purchased this free shipping I did pay tax, um, so it was $155 free shipping. So anyways, there you go. Thanks for coming along. You'll see me next time uh, in a few minutes uh, once the laundry is done and I pop in some wet clothes and uh, we'll see how this thing works, okay? See you in a few minutes. Okay, as I said, we are back with the Panda Spin Dryer. And we are going to give it a try and see how much water we're going to get out of these clothes. Now, I know with a Speed Queen top load washer, the 
final spin is at like 701 or 710 RPMs, something like that. Not very fast. Anyway, spin dryer does 3200. Let's see what we get out of this thing. So, let's see. The heaviest thing they say put at the bottom, and that's what I'm going to do, which is my jeans. So, jeans, shirt, shirt, pair of pajamas, another shirt, and another shirt, and another shirt. And I guess two pair of underwear. I think that's pretty good. Now let me get the top for this thing. I could have fit a little more in there, but that's good. Close the lid and turn it on. Very quiet. Oh, here comes the water. Yeah, I can move you up a little closer. Now it said it will run on its own for five minutes and shut off, so let's see what happens.
Go on. <laughs> Good girl. Go on. Go play. But what I'm happy to see is the water is clear. I was thinking that it might come out soapy or dirty, but Speed Queen did its job. It rinses the uh, clothes pretty clean. basket. So it beeps three times to let you know it's done, and now it's slowing down. Okay. can actually see on there the dry spots it rang out so much water that's incredible look at the dry spots huh. that's definitely going to cut way down on um, drying time whether you put it in a mini dryer or you put it in a regular dryer or out on the line well even the jeans look at that Wow. However, things look a little wrinkled. And let's see how much water we got out of that. This is a measuring cup and we did get three cups of water. Three cups of water, but look, the water is clear. So no laundry detergent, fabric softener. It seemed to, uh, extract all the water and the washer did its job it washes the clothes and it rinses them very well so let's do some more so it looks like to do a full load of laundry in this thing you got to do it a couple of times huh Unless you buy two of these. But at that price, how are you saving any money if you are buying two of these and running? So I guess, wouldn't that be a lot of electric? Well, what do I know? Here we go again. Here comes the water.
very quiet on this run, I guess uh, with the heavy jeans in there, made it uh, a little noisy, huh? So while we're waiting for this thing to finish, some of you uh, brainiacs out there, if you want to do a little bit of math or whatever. So this cost me $155. Now, I only do a full load of laundry um, in this washer. And one full load of laundry means I have to run this thing three times because I can't fit an entire load into it. Looks like I'm going to have to fill and run this thing three times. Now granted, I'm getting another three cups of water out of here. So let's just say I run this three times, I get three cups of water out of each time. That's nine cups of water removed from a load of laundry that's definitely going to cut down on your drying time. However, you're cutting down your drying time, but you had to purchase this item, plus run it three times to get nine cups of water out of there. Is it worth purchasing one of these and running it three times to cut down your drying time? In the comment section down below, give me your thoughts, because uh, I kind of have an idea in my head, but uh, I'm open-minded, and uh, let me know what you think. Now it's quiet. Moving around is easy. It does have handles on each side. It's very lightweight. So you can store it anywhere. Uh, and for those people that hand wash stuff or has a small portable apartment size washer, I bet you you would only have to run this once and you could line dry it in your house or outside and it would dry quickly. Or even if you have an apartment size dryer. Um, now our dryer up here runs off a 220 the one downstairs runs off a 220, but the mini, oh, here we go. The mini washer and dryer for our camper runs off a 110. So if you're using 110 electric, it takes a lot longer to dry in, but if you spin dry it and then throw it in there, I bet you it would go pretty quickly. That's just amazing how dry it is, though. 
Now, it does take some extra time. You gotta load and unload, and plus you gotta wait the five, we don't have to wait five minutes. You can stop it whenever you want. But it's got the built-in five minute timer, so why not use it? Okay, last little bit. Not as much though. There we go. How much water came out of this one? Oops, wrong side. Three cups clear water. So let me dump this. Of course, doggy's drinking her water. Okay. And let's do this last one. Here we go. Now this time it's only half full. Water coming out. Let it do its thing.
Okay, there we go on that one. And how much water do we get on here? Well, it's not three cups. It's one cup of water. So it's one cup of water we got out of that, but it was only a half a load in there to begin with. So not bad. And unlock, open. And of course, pretty much dry. It's only gonna take a couple minutes in the dryer. So, wow, that's pretty nice. So overall impression, I really like this. Um, I think it has many uses for it. Um, let me bring you up. There we go. So what can I say about it? Quiet. It seems to be built very well. Um, easy to move around. Portable. That thing spins pretty quick. 3,200 RPMs is pretty good. So out of one load of laundry, that was what, three, six, seven, seven cups, right? Three in the first, three in the second, and one cup. So that's seven, right? Do your math. So uh, that's not bad. So I'm gonna throw them in the dryer and move on. So those are the pros. Con, that's extra work for laundry. I'll find out, you know, how long it's going to take in the dryer. Um, we'll see how that goes. The only thing I can say that, I, that I'm going to assume could be a downside, a con, would be this particular uh, switch here that you have to rotate, and it locks the lid, and it turns the motor on and starts the timer. It's a little bit flimsy. So I'm kind of wondering how long is this going to last? I'd say if you're going to do this, do it gently, take care of it, um, especially for those that are gonna be using this on a daily or a couple times a week. Um, I think this is its weak spot. Um, other than that, it's really nice, not bad for the money. I was gonna buy a used one and I thought, no, uh, on these kind of things, I like to buy new. Again, I got it on eBay. Uh, they were going for $199.99, then it dropped to $189.99, and then I got it for $155 free shipping, but then I paid a couple of dollars for taxes. And it shipped pretty quick. I got it in a couple of days. Anyways, thank you for coming along. I greatly appreciate it. If you like my channel and you want to continue, please subscribe. Make me happy. Join the family here. Um, Ring that bell so that each and every time that I upload a video, you'll be notified. And thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up, okay? Help me out here. I'm trying to do the best I can. I am not the most professional person out there when doing these videos. But I think I kind of got bit by the bug, and I'm enjoying it, and it's something fun to do. And as I'm doing these videos, I'm learning right along with you guys out there. So... When you give me information, I try to pass it on. I try to learn right along with you. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for coming along. I'm Bunky. This is Bunky's Workshop, and I'll be talking to you soon. Have a good day.